Introducing Dr. Leslie Henry lyrics on the Jamaican Bible remix. Paul, letter to Filey, man. Should Britain pay reparations and make a formal apology to the descendants of slaves? Much of our imperial and business strength has its origins in the slave trade of the 18th and early 19th century, and the academic Robert Beckford argues in a new television program that the empire should pay back. If him did do nothing wrong to you, or him owe you, we pay you back. Pay you back. If him did do nothing wrong to you, or him owe you, we pay you back. Pay you back. Let's start with uh, the scale of slavery. You compare it in the program to the Nazi Holocaust. For several decades of the slave trade, it was cheaper to bring in Africans, work them to death, and then replace them. So we're looking at genocidal conditions on the Caribbean plantations. The complexity of our condition is what you fail to comprehend. Historically turned into chattels, beast of burden, less than men, thinking the only way to survive is to pretend to be you, mocking our very existence, animals in your human zoo. If him did do nothing wrong to you, or him owe you, we pay you back, pay you back. If him did do nothing wrong to you, or him owe you, we pay you back, pay you back. There are two um, sort of almost instant default defences made by a lot of British people when this is raised. The first is that actually the slave trade was something that was driven from Africa itself, that it was uh, Muslim uh, Arab slave traders uh, moving down south and that people in the sort of centre center ground of, of uh, West Africa in particular were behind the slave trade. What we focus on is what the British did. I'm not that concerned with what one ethnic group did to another ethnic group in Africa. I'm interested in how the British participated in it the huge profits that were made and the incredible economic benefit to this country and also the underdevelopment of Africa and more so the brutalization of African people in the Caribbean. Where are your names in our brains? African cultures disrespected, educated against ourselves is why we wind up disaffected. The saddest case in the saddest place, even these words leave a bitter taste in my mouth because as an African, to you I'm human waste. If him did do nothing wrong to you, or him owe you, we pay you back, pay you back. If him did do nothing wrong to you, or him owe you, we pay you back, pay you back. The second defence mechanism, people say, is well, it was Britain uh, which uh, ended the slave trade. It was, it was, it was Wilberforce, and then it was the Royal Navy, and that Britain's got a lot to be proud of in stopping the slave trade. When I was taught history, I was always told to approach it from a multi-dimensional perspective, to look at what happened in the subjugated histories, not just read history like TV history from the good and the great. In the Caribbean, they talk about the slaves who ended slavery. The fact that there were rebellions across the Caribbean in the 1830s that made slavery economically impossible and just not viable. So we know that Britain ended the trade in 1807. We know that the slavery was ended in 1834, 1838. It took a little bit of a while for it to work through. But we cannot discount the influence and the work of Africans in the Caribbean who helped to undermine slavery. So it's a much more complex picture. Telling the world you set us free Good old England, don't you know We were anti-slavery The Clapham sex should get respect Because they showed a lot of class Another historical distortion Like your William Wilberforce If him did do nothing wrong to you Or him owe you We pay you back Pay you back If him did do nothing wrong to you Or him owe you We pay you back Pay you back And probably most controversially You say there should be payback There should be reparation I believe that as a mature, sophisticated, post-industrialized nation that we are, we're in a very strong and dynamic position and to be able to apologize for the past is not a sign of weakness, but a sign of strength. And I also believe that things like compensation and an apology are psychosocial in their impact. They help to heal the nation and enable people to move on. There must be repay for damage done. Repair for damage done. It's not a foreign concept. I mean, Israel is a state of reparations for damage done. 
justifiably so. The Africans, victims of the slave trade, we must demand repay for damage done. It may take many forms, but the concept is legitimate and the need is great. Speak our truth in redemption songs Reparations transcend money It's about repairing historical wrongs Britain as a nation needs to face one brutal fact We need more than just a band-aid To put the African on the map If him did do nothing wrong to you Or him owe you We pay your back Pay your back If him did do nothing wrong to you Or him owe you We pay your back Pay your back